We are back with our nightcap, and you guessed it. It is time for our MVPs of the week. Tremaine, I turn to you. Okay. Now, this is normally fun, but it is pretty serious. The MVP for me is the family of Tyree Nichols, right? A, a young man who was beaten to death allegedly by a group of officers who, who really, in a horrific beating, killed him. They've been indicted, those five officers, on federal charges. And I think it's rare for a family who've experienced police brutality to actually get a taste of justice in action. And so to this family, I know it took a lot of hard work for folks. We had to see that video. They have to live it over and over again. But to have these five officers indicted, it's a really big deal. So I want to give a shout out to that family who deserves to witness, as all Americans do, witness a piece of justice. A painful, I, we would never say it's a joyful week, a painful week but an important one and one they deserve. That question. Kyle? I am going to nominate Susanna Gibson, uh, who ran or is running for a seat in the Virginia State House. And Okay, I'm going to guess none of us know who Susanna Gibson are, because everyone went, okay, okay, okay. so educate us, educate us. Okay, educate us, educate us, yes. Oh, um, Susanna, so who is Susanna this woman? Susanna Gibson, uh, it, it turns out, according to the Washington Post, that she and her husband, she's a Democrat, and this is the suburbs of Richmond, oh, and yes. this is a very important seat and a very important uh, race coming up. It turns out that she and her husband uh, have sex and have had sex um, I wasn't and ready sold for this. their sexual activities for money online. And she, this <laughs> was, she and this she owned was, it. And she owned it. This was, she was outed for this, and her response was basically, leave me alone. Yeah. I am running. I care about the issues I care about, and what I do with my husband doesn't matter. And I thought that this... Good was, on you, Sue. Yes. Yeah. I, mean, I want to hang out with a very serious note of know. that story, uh, as did somebody I know very well who's going to be watching this show, and we talked at length I, about it and said, man, way to go. Look, you're not wait, doing wait, anything when you illegal. Said that, you're almost like implying like you're looking for a side hustle after that. No, oh. no, no. Right? He's like, someone else I know. Like, America's not no. clamoring for anything like that. I just mean in terms of, like, not being shamed of who you are no. for doing something that is not illegal and is being consumed by adults for adult purposes, uh, not letting someone come and try to scare you. Does she have a shot, of, though? Right? Does she have a chance? Yeah. I, th I mean, it, at this point, it seems like she does. Who knows how this is going to play out? She's fighting back hard. Feminists in the region are coming back and supporting her. I think what will be really interesting is what do the suburban voters in Richmond think about okay, people who do this? The, the reason how much more do they watch? She's but the fantastic. reason it's important yeah. is because, you know, we watch, whether it's business leaders or political leaders, just sort of, like, clutch their pearls right. when we talk about things that, that's anything sexual yet. Pornhub, YouTube, these are among the top yep. 10 yeah. highest trafficked websites in America. So it's like, let's just be honest about how people live their exactly. lives. And people she's doing something. Sex. And she is doing something Married that. People. There you go. <laughs> so wow. Wow. Dare and sometimes them. I love to be watched. My <laughs> gosh, that was an MVP. I mean, or that is an MVP up. right there. Because I didn't know married people did that. Yeah. Oh, George. Yes. Uh, my MVP, er, the two of them, are the ushers who escorted Lauren Boebert out of oh! the theater. <laughs> I mean, come on. All right, all right, give us the story here. Okay, so Lauren Boebert was seeing at, the, at a theater in Denver. She was seeing a musical production of Beetlejuice, and she was allegedly uh, t taking pictures or filming. They were chatty during the show and vaping, which... Since when does that go on? Not even, you can't not, even do that in a bar not. anymore. Yes. Right? So she was escorted out. There is video footage, apparently. She claimed she didn't do any of these things. Right. She made it seem like, oh, I was just an excited theater goer. Who, me? And then what you way? actually watch the, right. the video, the, the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so to those ushers. So my MVPs yeah. uh, are those ushers who escorted Wait, her out. She... And she, of course, played the Don't You Know Who I Am card. Yeah, of yeah. course. Oh, didn't yeah. she okay. get tossed out of the State of the Union? No, that was the other one. That was Marjorie. Too. I think it was Marjorie. Okay. Just, just as a general rule to everyone, do you know who I am? Oof, Never right. works. I'm kind <laughs> of a big always, deal. I'm kind of a big deal. Always blows up in your face. Maybe. Right. It's, when it's, I was it's a busy drunk, man for my a favorite reason. Line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. Do you know who I am? Yes. Now get out. Um, okay, yours then? Okay, mine is not as good as any of these. Certainly not as important as yours. Feels a little bit, um, you know. Uh, uh, no. You know, not as serious as that. But um, Josh Harris, the part owner of the Washington Commanders, who yeah. has taken over from Dan Snyder. Uh, is my MVP nominee of the week because, Just as you, hate you know, Dan I hated Dan Snyder. <laughs> my uh, the French, yeah, exactly. I know your husband is a fan, and we've suffered for 20 hard years under Snyder, who did terrible things, who didn't want to change the name, who kept the team in Virginia, and had all these scandals. Finally, thank God, he's gone. 
Harris is there. A lot of energy for the first game. Won it barely, but they won. Sonny Jurgensen was there. The old uh, timers back. They have a chance to move the city where it belongs back into D.C. at RFK Stadium, which is where I grew up going. Uh, great, you know, mix of people and cultures at those games. It's not that way anymore. Love to see it that way again. Bring back the pride of the Burgundy and Gold. So, Josh Harris, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you. As an Eagles fan, that's oh. a terrible. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, my MVP is a little bit of a question. It's Oprah Winfrey. After the Maui fires, Oprah Winfrey and The Rock came out, and the two of them started a fund, the People of Maui Fund. With their own money, they put up 10 million bucks, and they made a video saying, we want to raise money. Uh, what can people do? They have faced enormous, enormous backlash. People are furious, vitriol, saying, how dare you ask people for a single cent, given that collectively the two of you are these mega billionaires. I know what I think about this. I want to know what you think about it. Using your celebrity power as a conduit to, for people who want to, you know, um, you know, have an act of goodwill and want to donate, they're already putting a bunch of money up. I think Bingo. it's a wonderful thing to use your platform to organize people and say, look, we're doing it. We'd love if you want to have an opportunity to help some folks. Come on, let's do it. And I'm sure they raise a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah, uh, you're not going to catch me hating on Oprah. There's no way. I think she's doing a good job. I, I thought the unfairness was uh, uh, sort of over the top in criticisms of whatever dollar amount she's given. She's given to many causes, many different ways, helped many people in their lives, trying to do something good. Like, give me a break. People just want to complain about everything anybody does ever. Okay, but what haters don't realize here is you hate too much. Yeah. And those people who are powerful and influential, you know what they're going to do? They're going to shut it down. Yeah, exactly. Right? That next right. time Why around, bother? right? I'm that just going to get around, hammered no matter if what. It, I if, do. It's, if it's an Oprah, she, you know yeah, what she could say? You yeah. know what? Wow. I'm going to keep my mouth this shut. Isn't worth the pen. I'm going to keep yeah. my wallet shut. I'm, Why would I put myself Precisely. on the chopping block right. like that? And so that's a really dangerous way for us to behave, to be shooting arrows at people willy nilly. It's making the perfect the enemy of the good. Yeah. I do think, though, I will say that I often struggle with folks who have this kind of generosity in the hands and in the instances when the government ought to be helping these people. And so, you know, to push people to be giving when what we ought to be doing is having our taxpayer dollars supporting efforts from these states, from the, from the federal government, I, I, I always struggle with that. It is generous. I do think it's a wonderful thing they've done. But does it encourage people to think that, no, it is not the government that ought to be helping, it, ought, it is private citizens? A uh, couple of things about that. I think, yeah, the government should be helping out. But at the same time, if there is a if there's an open lane, they moved into it. And as you presented this, I'm just li listening to the story. I'm going like, you know, God, we just can't have nice things. Right. Yeah. You know? yeah. Exactly. No yeah. one. Yeah. There's, yeah. Everything yeah. is yeah. super scrutiny. Yeah. This is the this is the reason like why people turn off their comments on Twitter. Like, exactly. come on. No, I, you yeah. know, Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson. Nice people. Who just put up, I'm Thank just going to say it one more time, $10 million. million. I don't care how much you have. That's a lot of money. <laughs> and how you're Oprah and, you know, billions. it's billions. It's not bad. about this island that was... Devastated. Right. Okay, then we're going to end with I'm saying thank you to Oprah, thank you to The Rock, thank you to everyone who gave, whether it was $10 or ultimately those two $10 million. Sometimes it's good to just do good things and for the, those of us to say thanks. We appreciate it. And I thank you for all being here. Tremaine Lee, Ben White, Kyle Spencer, and my dear friend George Hahn.